Hey guys, Bill Simantel here from the BBB TV. We're over here, the missile baits, John Creams. We got Shannon Wheeler here talking about it. I heard there's something new for this year, and we're gonna walk over to the booth right now and check it out. So what do we got, Cole? Let's go. Let's start over here. First, we've got the new Warlock head. Look at that cool little jig head. Yeah, this specially designed, unique head with a uh, Gamagatsu hook in it, very sharp. It has spring, it's got the spring keeper on it. Okay. That really keeps the uh, the bait up on the head, no slippage there. And I like it because that worm, when you put it on, it actually keeps it straight. It doesn't have that weird kick right, to it like usually right. that you see. And a little modification, if you ever, when, or when you do get one, or Ten. Push the spring down a little bit. That way, it's even with the hook right there, so it's nice and straight. When okay, you so you can adjust the the angle of it a little yeah, bit better. Man. Then, that is outstanding. Well, you know, I like that too because it opens up that uh, gap of that hook a little bit better. Right. Now, what kind of hooks are you guys using? It's the uh, the Gamagatsu. It's a special run of uh, Gamagatsu that they had. Outstanding. And uh, we got a hold of them, and they are. And that is right. probably the best hook you can get out there. Right. And that's, nice. That's Look perfect. at the thin shank yeah. hook. Yeah. Yeah, man. Light finesse. Great, great. Forward. Oh, and the head, of course. You know, the quarter ounce head, you have to really try out to appreciate the non-snags. Right. The non, um, you know, just getting hung up in rocks or whatnot. Okay. So it comes through, you know, rock, wood, any kind of cover on the bottom really well as, to, as opposed to, you know, football, round ball, and other type of um, shape. Okay. So. so I like, so you got a front tie on that. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit more of a, a Texas shape, a, a worm hook. Right. right. But it still goes through all the cover and structure? Yes. Outstanding. Yeah. But, but there again, it's a versatile, shaky head because you can throw it on points. Okay. Long rocky points, and it skips docks very well. Nice. Lay downs. It's, it's kind of like a flip and finesse, shaky head, long point throwing. Multiple techniques. Exactly. Nice. Very versatile. Very versatile. Another product we have is... The baby D bomb. I've heard of the D bomb it's before, yeah. Right here. This is going to be the little jewel for 2014 and beyond. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to have them out, you know, here in a couple months. They're pouring them right now. Yes. Okay. Right now, as we speak, they're pouring these things. Um, but this is a baby D bomb. It's a smaller version of our D bomb, our full size D bomb. And it's got, you know, we didn't really skimp on the body size because we want to fit, you know, a good uh, three out hook, a good flipping hook in it. So, right, that way we're, you know, here's the... You know, with, with all the different type of creature flipping baits out there, mm -hmm. you know, I'm always asking what is, what is the key thing? What is different with that than everything else? Well, on either one, the, the Baby D-Bomb or the D-Bomb, you know, you've got the... The body design of this bait is, is really unique just because it's got the, you know, it's got the kind of like the ringworm type. Yeah, it has the ribs, around. but they they look a lot tighter than most of the other ones. Yeah. So does that help with the buoyancy? Does that help to hold in scent better? Um, that's some of the stuff that you guys are looking at. It helps with the buoyancy and, and as far as like the hook sets you have. You can see it's got the, the solid plastic, the solid core, right, right down the middle. So, and also, you know, it, it displays bubbles. You know, it's okay. Air, push it through there when, when the bait falls. Oh wait, we 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 got a guy that's gonna do a photo bomb right here, Mr. John Cruz. So tell tell us, John. I mean, Shannon's going over this with us a little bit. Um, put a lot about it. I think Ish won a big tournament on your uh, D bomb a year ago or so. That's right. And then I, I'm looking at you got some new stuff now. The little shaky head is killer. That's that's a kill. Got Gamagatsu hook in it. Got it. Got to have it. I mean that that is just a killer thing. But see, Shannon's showing me you got a littler one. That's right. And uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit last night. Right. You've been just putting a tear down on them. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I said I think I feel like they, they swim all the way across the creek. You come know, to come eat that thing, and you, you throw it out there, and you, know, you work you work it a little ways, and then all of a sudden, once you got it, it was crazy. Uh, when I was when I was testing it, okay, it was, like, I couldn't keep them off of it. So it, it's going to be a it's going to be a killer. I'm, I'm pretty fanatic on plastics. I mean, people think I'm always a swimming guy, but the thing I notice on that, and I want to ask you if, if this is the key. I'm seeing a little bit softer plastic and a wider profile. Does that help with the glide? Does that does, does that give um, it a different? The softer plastic. Uh, there, there's a whole combination of things that, that makes the bait have more action. Right. And uh, that's really that's really what the it's a it's a big flipping bait that you can get a bigger hook in. Even the baby debum, you can get a three aught or even a four aught uh, flipping hook in it. Right. But it's still got thin 
soft plastic in, in the, the tail portion, which right. gives it a lot of action. So it's a beefy bait, but it can have finesse uh, finesse applications too. So it's a um, okay. It's a, it's a combination bait that, that I, I'm going to use a lot when I'm fishing. A lot. Outstanding. Well, yeah, we took a little away from uh, Shannon. Shannon actually, both of you guys actually started fishing tournaments a little bit together too, yeah. and. Uh, so I, I've heard you guys have been treating pretty well out there with the, uh, oh, the new missile baits. But uh, hey guys, here at the BBZ, you know, we're always looking for new, innovative stuff. And uh, when you got a guy out there, a pro, that's actually designing his own baits, you know he's putting a lot of passion into it. And he's, he's not holding back on anything because not only does he want you to catch fish with it, he wants to catch fish because it puts money in his pocket when he wins a tournament and it puts money in your pocket when you win a tournament. So, so some, some really cool things for 2013 um, and 2014 coming up. You're going to have some new stuff, I bet you, in the works already. It's coming. It's okay. coming. So you going to tell me before anybody else? No. I tried. How much money you got? <laughs> I tried. I don't have that much money. Hey, guys, 2013 ICAST, John Cruz, Shannon. We'll catch you next time here at the Missile Bait booth. That's right. And we'll show you the new stuff. Catch you next time here at the BBG TV.